Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 EX calculator to solve the polar part of the complex number. Okay, so at first, we have the argam diagram over here. It's sort of like cut and set plan. But then over here, we don't have x axis and y axis. Our x axis is replacing by the real number, and our y axis actually replaced by the imaginary number. And then we have a vector of OA, which is 3 plus 4i. If you learn about complex number, you should know the 3 basically is a real number. So it, it indicates that this one will be 3. 4 will be my imaginary number, which is 4 here. Okay, however, for the argram diagram over here, we don't have the coordinate something like 3, 4, like what we have in the Cartesian plan. The coordinate in this diagram we call polar coordinates. So for polar coordinates, right, they have a specific format. They only want to have R comma theta. So R over here, they have a name for it. They call modulus. And theta over here, they have another name for it. They call argument. So the angle must be always between the vector and the x-axis. All right. And R will be the radius and it's, it will be always the hypotenuse. So over here, before I teach you how to use a calculator to find the R and theta, I kind of like show you some manual way. So in order to find the hypotenuse, we know we can easily solve it by using the Pythagoras, which is square root of 3 square plus 4 square, which is 5. All right. Then if I want to find the theta, like I say the theta, which is the argument, will be the angle between the vector and the x-axis. All right, and theta over here is always between the negative pi to pi only. All right, this one will be slightly different with what you have learned in uh, trigonometry function. So therefore, this is my theta here. And my theta is always in the radian mode. Okay, you want to make sure your calculator show R on the top when you do the complex number. Okay, so how are we going to find the theta? So in order to find this theta, right, I know I can use a tangent. Or I can use a sine cos also can because I already have my r. But over here, the easiest way is to use the tangent. So I know here will be 4 and here will be 3, then it? Opposite over adjacent, which is 4 over 3. And then you type into the calculator, inverse tangent, 4 over 3. And the calculator should be able to tell you the answer, 0 0.927295. All right. If I want to use the calculator to check my answer okay one of the way is i can go into the menu and then i go to complex number which is number two and then i go to the option do you see the argument you just tap argument and then insert your vector in this case my vector is three plus four i isn't it so therefore the calculator will tell me oh my argument is 0 0.927295 is exactly the same all right there's another trick which is can straight away get the uh, radius and the theta, which is the modulus and the argument. Okay, this is what you can do. You just type 3 plus 4i like this, and then you go to the option, you come down to the second menu, and then you look for r and theta. This r will be my modulus, theta will be my argument. I press 1, and then I tip, enter, and then you see, it straight away show me the r value, which is 5, and it will show me the theta value, uh, which is 0 0.92729. It's exactly the same here. Definitely, this one is a radian. Okay, however, if today, if I have the R and theta, I want to change it back to the uh, Cartesian plan, which is 3 plus 4i, or which is complex form. All right, so how can I do that? So if you have the R and theta, you want to change it back to the A plus bi. Okay, here there's a formula if because you want to do manual way of course you use a calculator is extremely easy but if you want to do manual way this formula is r cos theta and then plus i sine theta okay you need to use this formula in order to change it back to the a plus bi of course i will i can show you here your r is five in it so i will put a five and then cos my theta over here is quite long in this case. Um, maybe I just route off. So later my number will be slightly less accurate, but it's fine. Yeah, I just want to give you some idea. All right, so, and then my theta is 0 0.9273. All right, then you see if I type everything like this into the calculator, I'll call 0 0.9273. 
and then plus the i will be i click the i here and then this one will be sine 0 0.9273 close the bracket i type enter you realize my real number is very close to 3 so i will just assume it is 3 and then my imaginary number is very close to 4 i plus 4i all right so if you want to use a calculator to straight away change uh, without doing uh, this formula, uh, the easiest way is in this calculator, right, you can type like this. This is 5. And then you go into shift and engineering button. And then you enter your angle. In this case, maybe I just enter the more decimal to get more accurate answer. 295. Okay, you can see I enter my R, which is my modulus and my argument. And I type enter. You see, I can straight away get the answer as well, which is 3 plus 4i. Okay, so this is how to use a calculator to uh, quickly convert between uh, polar form and the complex number form. All right, before I end this video, I want to show you uh, like one example to make sure you can understand what I'm teaching here. Okay, this question, they asked us to find the modulus and argument for this one. So therefore, uh, normally what I will do is I will try to sketch out the diagram first. So this one will be my real number, imaginary number. So square root 3, this one is a real number, isn't it? So I know I have a square root 3 here. And then my imaginary number will be 1. This one will be 1. Alright, so if I want to find my modulus, so I know it's basically square root of square root 3 square plus 1 square which is 2. Alright, if I want to find the, my argument, so argument, sometimes they will write a short form like this, argument for square root 3 plus i. So I will just use the calculator to solve for the argument. Of course, you can still use the inverse tangent to solve. I go into the menu and then look for argument and then I just insert my vector square root 3 plus i here. Okay, then the calculator will tell me is pi over 6 here. Alright, then this asks us to express q equals to z1, which is square root 3 plus i, over z2, which is square root 3 minus i. Alright, into the form a plus ib, where a and b are the real number. So basically, uh, for this part, I already show you in the last video. So I will quickly use the calculator to solve it for you. So it's like square root 3 plus i over square root 3 minus i. Alright, then the calculator will tell me the final answer is half plus square root 3 over 2i. Of course, the uh, quick tips is in order to solve this one quickly, you need to multiply the uh, conjugates of your denominator. So you just type conjugates here, then you go to the square root 3 minus i to see what is your conjugates. And then you just multiply it for your numerator and your denominator. So you just like multiply square root 3 plus i for numerator and denominator and then you solve it eventually you will get this answer all right i hope you find this video helpful to you if you are interested to get this calculator i will share a shopping link at the description below the link will bring you to the casio official store so for right now the casio malaysia are doing some promotion whoever want to get this calculator from their official store they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step by step guide here. So, in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here, there's two places for you to insert your voucher code. First place is over here, you can see the more voucher. The second place will be over here, the platform voucher. Okay, the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by Shopee. And then this voucher is provided by Casio Malaysia. And then over here, you can insert 
the voucher code I provide, which is the Casio mat, and then you just click on apply. I already apply, so you can see like five ringgit off, minimum spam of seventy ringgit. So after that, you should be able to see the price from seventy nine reduced to seventy four. If you have any question, feel free to post at the comment section below, or else I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.